Hello, Magic here, and today we're back with PCB for Busy Person. And in the last episode, um, we were at the shrine and we were talking a bit. And Marissa and Flandra are going to Alice's place, which is gonna be hectic for the girls, no doubt. And then there we meet with Alice and this time Shanghai. So Shanghai is now a character who can talk, which is rather surprising for me, I won't lie. But regardless, we will take what we get, which is fine. And then I'll uh, get a decision right uh, quickly right off the bat. As uh, the decision is that we either uh, there's a person at the uh, near the house or something, so we get to greet them. But depending on who wants to greet them, Alice or Shanghai. So we did Alice first, and Alice meets with Yukari, and stuff happens, and <coughs> seems like Alice won against Yukari and whatever debacle they were dealing with. After that, uh, we have Shanghai. So Shanghai just kind of. Talks to Yukari, don't make fun of her, call her an imposter up to Marissa, and if I stop messing up the flip, it'd be nice. But anyway, uh, after that, um, Yukari enters the building and I think gets Alice has Yukari making stuff, sweet. Then we switch to Marissa and Flandre, and they're near the house. And then we enter the house, and after that, some more talking, and we now have a cafe of sorts. Um, what happened is that since Yukari was trying to think of an event to do for the third stage, but she couldn't because Alice was making her do stuff, we just decided we'll do a cafe and we're good to go. And which is why we left off here. So let's do it. I'm not gonna lie, it's still weird hearing Shen just talking regularly, aside from her. Nyah, nyah, nyah. Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit, yeah, I was not expecting that. <laughs> yeah, how the hell did Vermillion get here? Well, there's that. She. Would be good to have the mic, uh, you know, here instead of behind the computer. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. Hopefully, I don't sound too bad. I'll try brushing it up a bit in the editing, but let's get back to this. You can lock gaps, Aya? What? I did not know that. <laughs> Tombstone Yuyuko. Tombstone Yuyuko. There she is. You can break a gap into a half and share? I did not know that. Forty-two inch gap. That's actually pretty big, I think. Anyway. Even though you're her shikigami, oh well. Well, there's that. There is that. Yeah, I don't think so. I only took about two or three minutes to realize that. I know, right? Everyone, look! The 